Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie if you're new and today we have a vlogmas episode for you guys. Um, I'm sorry if I am a bit all over the place. I have just basically started to feel a little bit ill. I'm getting swollen glands, a little bit of a chesty cough, a little bit of a sore, sore chest. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a little, little fragile today, but I did commit to Vlogmas and once I commit to something, I see it through. So here we are. Um, anyway, I've got my hot lemon and honey, which I'm just gonna be sipping on throughout this video. So cheers to that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so today when I'm filming this, it's been a busy, busy, busy old day. We've been getting a lot of content filmed and edited and in all honesty, I just want to sit on the couch <laughs> and just watch Christmas films and just snuggle up and get warm because I've had to, I've had to put my, my trusty hoodie on because I am so cold. I've had the heating on, I've had a hot water bottle and I'm just shivering. So yeah, apologies for for the appearance basically. <laughs> I have my makeup done but I am in my uh, my joggers, slippers and hoodie because when you're ill you just want your comforts, don't you? And speaking of comforts, I fancy some cookies. So I don't know if you'll have seen it yet, probably, <laughs> but we made our DIY gift of cookies in a jar. So this was the gift that we made. Um, I did make these as gift ideas. They are gifts to myself and my family because I'll be making the cookies um, and sharing them out. But uh, yeah, um, when I say making the cookies and sharing them out, I've just said I feel ill. I don't think I'm ill <laughs> with a bug. I'm ill with a run down type of need. My body's telling me that I need to slow down. This is what it does every single time. I get really swollen glands. I get a little bit of a tight chest where the anxiety starts to kick in. Um, so yeah, I don't, th I don't think it's a cold or a virus or anything. And I am washing my hands and cleaning everything and disinfecting everything. So um, I will pre-warn people before I give them the cookies and if they want to eat, then they can eat them. But yes, we're gonna make these together today. <clears throat> like I said in the video where I made these, this was a recipe from Sugar Spun Run, which I will link again in the description box below. I'll link their blog um, down in the description box because they've got some really lovely looking recipes there. Um, so yes, we're going to try and make them today and see how they turn out. Um, so let's let's go. So all the all the <coughs> hold the line caller. So all the little recipe cards that you can print off from Sugar Spun Run as well. Um, <coughs> All they say to do is you need 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. So I have just melted some butter in the microwave. Um, it says to leave it to cool for a little bit because you're gonna mix the egg and the vanilla extract in here, but I might just do it a little different way just to mix it up a bit. Um, and then you need vanilla extract, one teaspoon, and one large egg. So that's only the, the all the additions you need if you if you were to receive or give one of these. So I've got my oven on 180 degrees Celsius. That's preheating, so it should be done by the time we're ready. So let's crack into it, shall we? We are going to take our mixing bowl. I have washed my hands. Take our mixing bowl and our jar of goodies. I'm going to unscrew the lid like so and then you just dump it all straight in the mixing bowl. So it might need a bit of a hand because 
we did pack it in pretty well, didn't we? So you give it a bit of a bit of a shake. There we are. Bit of a pat. And there is our cookie mix. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna leave the lid off there. That can go to be washed and reused because they're a giftable jar and we can reuse them. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure everything's a bit broken up because it's been compacted in that jar for however long. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure all the sugar is broken up and all the flour um, and there's not too many big lumps in there. So. So when everything is mixed all together, your mixture should look just like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to make a little well in the middle. And we're going to add in our 12 tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm hoping that there's 12 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, and twelve. There we go, and there's actually some left, so. I'm just going to pop that to one side. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start to fold that in slightly. There we go. And the reason I've just decided to keep that excess butter to one side is just in case I need a bit extra. Um, you just never know. So then I'm going to add in my one, oh, there's a runaway egg, my one teaspoon of vanilla extract. There we go. Vanilla extract, vanilla essence. To me, they're the, they're the same. They both taste of vanilla. Um, and I'm just going to mix that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack our egg into the bowl, like so. And then we're going to just scramble that up a bit in the middle and then incorporate that also into the mixture. Now I don't think this mixture is supposed to be like re a really wet mixture, like a cake batter, but I do think it's supposed to kind of hold its shape and not be too dry. So it's just a, a matter of trying to mix it in as best as possible. I am going to add a tiny bit, tiny bit more butter. Then we get a 
the mixture like this. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take <clears throat> some greaseproof paper and a baking tray and my I'm going to try and use my little my little scooper today and see what that's like but we're going to take some some balls of the dough and then just They've all flattened nicely. They're a little bit squishy, so I've got to leave them to cool completely on the trays and then we can tuck in. <laughs> but I'll probably not have one till later on because it is getting a little close to, to lunchtime now. Although this little bit is, um, is, is calling my name, so let's bear with me. Right, let's. That was a very crispy bit because it was just a little droplet, but that tastes lovely. So yes, I'm going to munch on those later. Hopefully I can feel a little bit better, but yeah, they are the Christmas cookies in a jar. I would say that they were a success. So don't forget to check out the recipe and I will leave the link in the description box below to their website. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Tick the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And hit that subscribe button and join this crazy kooky family here on my YouTube channel. And I will love you forever if you do. But until next time, have a magical day and I will see you super soon. Bye! <laughs>